Hi, I'm Katie, co-founder of ClassBank. I just wanted to welcome you to the platform and give you an in-depth look about how ClassBank can help you increase student engagement. ClassBank is an all-in-one digital economy where students can open their very first bank account and learn to earn, save, and spend classroom dollars. It's all digital, so it's easy for you to set up and manage, and it's going to save you a ton of time. If you're looking for a step-by-step -step walkthrough of setting up your account, make sure to check out our Getting Started checklist that will show you how to add students and settings. You can get up and running in about 10 minutes, but for now, let's take a look at an account that's already been set up. Right now, we're looking at the teacher dashboard, which provides an overview of your account. We'll come back to this in a bit, but for now, let's hop into classes first, because this is where you'll be spending most of your time. The student list shows everything you need to know, like student balances, what they still need to deposit or withdraw, jobs, and more. This is also where you'll send transactions for positive reinforcement. Just select the students that you want to send a transaction to, and then select a transaction type. Let's start with bonuses and fines. These are the foundations of the platform and what you're sending every day, and they form the basis for that consistent classroom culture. Teachers who see the most success with ClassBank send a transaction right when they get started, so we recommend sending a welcome to ClassBank bonus as soon as you add your students. If your school uses PBIS or SEL, these bonuses really help with those positive reinforcement touch points. If fines don't align with your classroom culture, you can feel free to omit them or set them to zero so that you can track those students' behaviors without having that affect their bank account. If you do choose to use fines, we recommend aiming for that five to one bonuses to fine ratio which is the sweet spot for positive reinforcement as determined by PBIS. If you're part of a school subscription, we'll also help you keep track of if you're meeting that five to one goal. Everything is fully customizable and we recommend working with your students to create classroom expectations to really increase buy-in. When you're setting up your account, we have grade level specific recommendations that you can take right out of the box to get up and running in minutes. Your presets will show when you open this pop-up, but again, you can always send a custom bonus in the moment. Your goal should be to find an opportunity to send every student a bonus at least once a day. Those most popular daily bonuses are showing up for class on time, on task, participation, and attendance. And make sure to keep the sound on when you send your bonus. Students absolutely love the cha-ching when they hear it. They sit up a little bit straighter and are hoping to be the next one to get that bonus. Flipping over to the student side, once you send a transaction, students are responsible for making their deposits and withdrawals. Abby and I were both middle school math teachers, so we're always looking for that extra math enrichment. We have one school that incorporates decimals to their standards, and they like to do whole numbers for bonuses and decimal numbers for fines because students hate to do the math for fines, so it's an additional disincentive not to get one. Um, however, the math is optional, and if you want, you can turn off the math to differentiate based on grade level or student. Once students make all of their deposits and withdrawals, their balance will be updated and they're able to shop in your classroom store. This is, of course, students' favorite part of the platform. They can check out your items. Uh, we recommend that you have free and experiential rewards in your store. We don't want the store to be a drain on your bank account. Um, last year, the most popular items were Positive Note Home, free seating, and if you're feeling adventurous, pie a teacher in the face was a big one. Um, I'll also link our 100 store recommendations so that you can save money but also increase student engagement. But the best thing that we can recommend is ask your students what do you want to see in the store so that they can let you know what's really going to motivate them. When students are shopping, the store will tell you how many items are left and block anything that is out of stock. That's something that's available for our pro teachers. And the bonuses in the store are really the core of the platform. So if you're thinking that's enough for now, feel free to run with it. Or if you're looking to take things to the next level, stick with me and we'll continue to take a look at the rest of the platform. To bump up the financial literacy even more and to help support that budgeting habit, 
Students can also open a savings account. In this account, they can set money aside for bigger purchases, and pro and school subscribers can even set up automatic interest payments so that students can really experience that power of compound interest. Students love to see what their projected monthly interest is and how much they've already earned. And they can also keep track of their progress towards goals, as well as see what their teachers have sent them um, in their transactions. I'll flag our savings and interest lesson plan so that you can walk them through the benefits of the savings account, as well as our other financial literacy lesson plans that are aligned to Jumpstart's national financial literacy standards. Uh, taking a look at jobs, jobs allow students to have real responsibilities in the classroom and to earn a salary as compensation. And while jobs are often associated with elementary school, there are many, many ways you can include them for middle or high school, such as creating a podcaster job or a tutor who creates video tutorials or study guides for upcoming assessments. Again, we recommend creating these roles with students to ensure buy-in, um, and students can browse the job board just like you or I might shop on LinkedIn, submit their applications, and they can even upload a resume to really push that content enrichment. We'll take a look at what hiring looks like from your side in just a moment. But now we have students, they have money flowing in from bonuses and salaries, they're making purchases in the store. Now it's time to start thinking about budgeting. Students can have monthly bills such as rent for their desk or a class tax. So now students get that feeling of, okay, I got my paycheck this week, but really I wanna spend it in the store, but I have rent due next week, so I have to save up for that first. This builds those financial literacy skills like needs versus wants, delayed gratification, and all of that's through experience of them managing their own money. Another way to really increase student engagement while saving you time is to hire students as bankers and helpers in your classroom. There are three roles that pro and school subscribers can hire for. Bankers who can help you send transactions. Store clerks who can help you manage purchases as well as your inventory. And HR representatives who can make hiring and firing decisions as well as manage your job board. Leveraging these student helper roles not only frees up your time, but trusting them with these responsibilities really allows students to take ownership over your classroom economy and you're able to see all of those transactions that students have sent, have sent so that you can audit them and um, make sure that all of that is approved. Flipping back to the teacher side, if you're a pro subscriber, you're able to add any other pro subscriber as a co-teacher. This will give you both access to the class and enable you to share settings, students, and really make the most of a platform as a small team. If you have a school-wide system and are looking to share students across classes, let us know, we'd be happy to share more about the school subscription. This allows you to connect all of your teachers and students to an unlimited number of classrooms and also includes additional perks like automatic rostering, PDs, and custom data reports. Speaking of data, ClassBank can also help you make data-driven decisions. In this all transactions, you can easily sort by transaction type, by class period, so that you can easily discover trends in your classroom. Pro and school subscribers also have the opportunity to export a report of your transactions. So if you head to the All Transactions tab, you'll be able to see the transactions you've sent, as well as a report for sharing with parents or reflecting with students. Some other reports that are available to you are exporting jobs, individual student transactions, as well as store transactions. On your dashboard, you can view which students have earned the most and the least bonuses, allowing you to shout out any students that might need a little bit of extra love. Now that you have an overview of all the different classroom management and financial literacy tools, I just want to shout out where those live on your side. And don't forget to check out that Getting Started checklist for a more in-depth walkthrough. The job board is where you can manage all of those different classroom jobs and responsibilities. The store is where you can see what students have purchased. So when you give Harry Potter his fancy pencil or Leia Organa the ability to tell a joke to the class, you can check it off of your list. Under all items is where you can customize your store with recommendations. Feel free to add your own pictures or choose from our pre-made icons, all customizable under that stores tab. Under setup, this is where you can customize your bonus, fines, and monthly bills. 
you can send automatically to reinforce that budgeting uh, and teaching students the skill of when to save for an upcoming expense versus when to shop in the store. And if you ever have any questions, check out the chat in the lower right hand corner. There you can find help articles in our help center as well as shoot us a message if you have any questions or feedback. We also recommend joining our teacher Facebook page where you can ask other classmate teachers for recommendations and hear how they're using it in their classroom. And that's an in-depth look at ClassBank. If you're still setting up your account, check out our Getting Started Checklist for Guidance. If you have any questions or feedback, definitely use the chat. We'd love to hear how you're using ClassBank in your classroom. Thank you so much for your time and welcome to ClassBank. We're excited to help your students build the skills they need for success inside and outside the classroom.